my brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Monday, April 11th, 2022, Monday of Holy Week. And let us begin our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What return can we make to the Lord for all his goodness to us? Let us take up the prayer of thanksgiving. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, Mary understood, as Judas did not, that no money could ever repay the love that carried Jesus toward the cross. She offered instead the intensely personal homage of her loving faith, anointing him for death. She proclaimed him the Christ, meaning the Anointed One. She remains his faithful witness as her memory is kept today. And let us pray. I trusted, even when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill. Before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's I will call, I will call on the Lord's name. A thanksgiving sacrifice. I will call on the Lord's name. I vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people in the court of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witness of all that he did both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. The Word of the Lord. And let us pray the Canticle of Mary on this Monday evening, brothers and sisters. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and he has scattered the proud under conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made for our fathers, Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we remember the death of the Lord, let us entreat him. And our response is, we trusted even when we said, we are sorely afflicted. We trusted even when we said, we are sorely afflicted. You are the Christ, the Anointed One of God. Remake in the likeness of your death and resurrection all those who are anointed with the sacramental oils of the church. We trusted even when we said we are sorely afflicted. You are the redeemer of suffering humanity. Bring us out of the shadow of death into the light of your eternal kingdom. We trusted even when we said we are sorely afflicted. You are the deliverer of the dead. Raise to new life all those who have been anointed in your name. We trusted, even when we said, we are sorely afflicted. And let us offer to God our own personal intentions, called from the silence of our hearts. We trusted, even when we said, we were sorely afflicted. And let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us say good night and good evening to our Mother Mary by reciting the Marian Antiphon. And let us pray. Under your protection we take refuge, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our supplications in time of need, but free us from all dangers, O Virgin ever blessed. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.
And let us end our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good night, everybody.